friends, welcome or welcome back. I'm so excited you decided to join me today because I have a Dollar Tree Walmart Christmas dupe for you guys. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Also like to thank my good friends over at Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. Okay, sweet friends, we're gonna start off with three signs from Dollar Tree, and I start off by cutting the tags off of them. Next, I take the hanger off of the skinnier sign, and it was held in by staples, so I just remove those staples and sand that down smooth. Then I mark in the middle of the longer, skinnier sign, and then I just kind of um, draw eyeball I don't even know how you want to explain it but I just kind of eyeball because this is going to be the top of our church if you haven't figured that out and I wanted this to look kind of like a steeple so I mark that out and then use my utility knife to score it and then I kind of push it to the back and cut it from the back As long as you have a super sharp knife and you score it multiple times, you should not have any problems getting this to look the way that you want it to. Now, because we just scored this and then cut it from the back, or really it's the front side of the sign, but for us, it's the back. Um, because we did that, once you do that, you're going to have to cut off the excess because when you push it and then cut it from the front or the back, whatever you would like to call it, there will still be a little bit of excess. So just cut that off and sand that down smooth. For the side pieces, I wanted you guys to see that I did just mark it and cut it. And then for the second side, I made sure that these signs would be going the right way. So you wanna line the hole to hole up, if that makes sense, and mark it and then cut that down the exact same way we did the middle piece. Now to attach these, I took my jumbo popsicle sticks from Walmart. I cut down um, two pieces so that it would fit at the bottom. And then I glued down um, two big jump or whole jumbo popsicle sticks at the top with some hot glue to attach these. I made sure that the holes were gonna be where we're gonna glue it. That way, once we put some lightweight spackling in the holes, it is not gonna fall through to the back. Next, I take my lightweight spackling from Dollar Tree and I fill in those holes. If you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, share it out, and also subscribe if you haven't already. Let's jump back in. All those little things really help my channel to grow and I just want you guys to know for all of you guys who support me in all the big and little ways, I appreciate you guys so, so much. So anyway, y'all, um, once I have my sign all put together, then I take some ink, Waverly chalk paint, and give the entire sign a distressed coat. Next, I take my uh, tape measure and I mark every half of inch on either side and then I also mark every half inch all the way up the middle as well. If you haven't figured it out yet, we're going to be putting kind of like shiplap on here. So in order to draw the lines, all I did was take a wood sign from Dollar Tree and I just created the lines that way. Next, I paint the roof with some white Waverly chalk paint. Now, before I show you how to make this roof, I want to tell you guys a little bit about Blue Land. To thank Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. They are a long friend of the channel. And if you have never heard of Blue Land, Blue Land is a sustainable cleaning company that has a vision of getting rid of single use plastics altogether. Since getting pregnant and moving into our new home, you guys know that we just bought this house not that long ago and I just had a baby. I am very conscious on the items and the products that we use in our home. So that is why I am so glad that I switched to Blue Land because I know that when I'm using these products with myself and my family, they have no toxins, they have no single use plastics in any of their components. And not only that, but I save so much time and money 
by using the refillable bottles and having it delivered straight to my door. With their tablets starting at only $2 and with their customizable subscription, you can buy things in bulk or you can just get it delivered every month. It's totally up to you. I love the fact that Blue Land always has the environment in mind, which is why they actually came up with the company. The founder of the company wanted to get rid of single-use plastics altogether. So I love the fact that you can give these for gifts and you can give the gift of savings because all your person has to do is just buy the refills. So not only are all the products non-toxic, but look how aesthetically pleasing their products are. I love cleaning with these because they just look so gorgeous. I love that Blue Land creates everyday eco-friendly cleaning products, saving you money and space without any plastic waste. Not only are the ingredients non-toxic, but even their packaging is saving the earth one box at a time. The steps are so easy. All you have to do is fill, drop, and you're ready to clean. Not only is it super easy to use in just a few steps, but trust me, if you make the switch to Blue Land, you will never go back. So this time around, I chose the Laundry Essentials. I have all the other products, so I could not wait to test out these products. And you guys, my clothes have never come out so clean. I also love their body wash. This is my favorite product that they have. It smells so amazing. Ugh, I don't know about you guys, but any sustainable product company that I've used, the scents are off or they just don't clean very well. But with Blue Land, I am never disappointed. If you guys pick up this body wash, make sure you try the raspberry hibiscus because that is my top favorite scent. To stock up on your sustainable cleaning products today, and also get up to 20% off your entire order, which Blue Land never does this, so make sure you guys shop this sale. Check the link down in the description box below. I will also leave it in the pinned comment as well. And once again, wanna thank Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. Now y'all know I'm super extra, so of course I had to make actual shingles for the roof, but if you don't have the patience or time, you can totally skip this and just kind of draw shingles. However, like I said, y'all know I'm extra. So I just took um, several different popsicle sticks, several different sizes. So I had the jumbo, the large, and then I also have these small bamboo sticks. So I just kind of alternated between sizes. I held it up to my roof, marked it, cut it down, and then glued my shingles down all the way down the roof. Now, I'm so sorry that it's kind of hard to see. Y'all, I don't know what is up with my camera. Um, I just bought this one not that long ago and it's already giving me issues. So I don't know why it's so bright. I will have to mess with the settings. So I just wanted to mention that I apologize that it is so bright and there are some scenes that you can't really see, but no big deal um, because I will definitely let you know what I'm doing. So like I said, I just continued the roof pieces all the way down to the bottom. And then once I got to where the black part meets the roof, I took a long, popsicle stick, laid it out, and then kind of marked um, those little sides. And then I cut that down and glued it down before I glued on the last row of shingles. If that makes absolutely no sense, y'all can see what I'm doing here. Now, when you're cutting popsicle sticks, it can be a little bit tricky because sometimes they do want to like break apart, but I have found that if you do more of like a chopping motion instead of like one clean cut, then it definitely um, comes out much better and it doesn't break apart as much. So I just wanted to mention that for y'all because for a long time I had a hard time, but I finally figured it out and it's much easier the way that I explained. So once I was done with the shingles, I painted that with my white Waverly chalk paint and then I took 
two jumbo popsicle sticks and I just kind of laid them out where I wanted them and then I marked and cut that on a 45 degree angle so that they would meet in the middle. Now these were not big enough to go all the way down the sides of our church so I did just cut another piece to fit at the end and then once I had all of my pieces cut then I gave it a distress coat of white Waverly chalk paint. Then I took some ink Waverly chalk paint on the end of my brush and I kind of mixed it with some white to make it a little bit of like a gray color. I didn't want it to be super, super dark. So that's why I kind of toned that black down. But if you like it dark, you can totally do that. Or like I always tell you guys, this is just for inspiration. So if there is a step or you know something that you don't personally like, Definitely think outside the box and make it your own. Once I had all of my pieces distressed, then I went ahead and glued them down in place with some hot glue. I then connected all of the pieces, or not connected. <laughs> I covered all of the pieces at the seams with my lightweight spackling from Dollar Tree. While that was drying, now we're going to do all the little embellishments. So I take a wood slat from Dollar Tree, which my good friend Julie sent these. Thank you so much, Julie. You know who you are. But I take a wood slat for the door, lay that down in place, and then I take these bamboo sticks that are linked in my Amazon shop down below in the description box, or I'll also leave it in the pinned comment for you. But I just take these and I just kind of lay them out, mark it where I want my windows, and then cut that down. Or I should say mark it at the length and size that I wanted my windows. Cut those out and then... I glue them together on this little cutting mat that I got from Dollar Tree prior to gluing it to my sign. And I do this because if I mess up, I don't want a bunch of hot glue all over my sign. I would much rather mess up on the cutting mat than the sign. So that is why I always do stuff like this oh, like off of my project because I don't got the time to be redoing this so I wanted to protect my project so I also cut down these bamboo sticks in half for the middle of the windows and you can see how I did that here Now for the top of our church, in the original project, there was like kind of like a vent at the top. So of course I wanted to make one for myself as well. So you can see what I'm doing here because it's kind of hard to explain. But again, I just cut down the pieces and then glued them down. Next, once all of my pieces were done, I gave them a distress coat of white Waverly chalk paint. Now for the top of the door and the top of the windows, I just kind of drew out a design. Um, I kind of mimicked what was on the original sign. And once I had that marked out, then I cut that out. For the windows, I used the large popsicle sticks. And I don't know if I mentioned, but for the door, I used the jumbo popsicle stick. Once I had all of them cut out, then I glue them down to the top of the windows and the door and paint them once again with my white Waverly chalk paint. Next, I lay out all of the pieces on my sign to make sure they are in the spot that I want them. And then I go ahead and glue it down with some hot glue. Yes, that is my little man right here eating while I'm working. Can y'all believe this boy is seven weeks old today? Oh my goodness, y'all. It just goes way too fast. But anyway, once I glued all of my pieces down, now comes the fun part to decorate this up. Well, before I decorate it, I made a cross with some large popsicle sticks, just cutting the edges down straight and then gluing that together. And then I stain it with my Dixie Belle Voodoo stain. Now I decided to leave in his cute little baby sounds because every time y'all hear my kids, I always get comments that y'all love to hear them. So 
I figured why not? I'm a busy mama and this is my life now. So it just is what it is. And either way, I have to get this video out to y'all. So mama's got to do what mama's got to do. So anyway, once I stained my cross, then I use that same brush and I also dry brush all the way around the white pieces with that Dixie Belle stain. Next, I sand down my edges where we use the lightweight spackling from Dollar Tree, or I keep saying edges, the seams. <laughs> and then I drew a little design on my door with just a regular pencil. I glued the cross to the stop, to the top of the steeple. Yeah, the stop of the steeple. <laughs> And then I take my chalk couture transfer. Now I could not figure out which one I wanted to use. The one with the stockings is our monthly transfer. So if you guys sign up to get the 40% discount, I will leave the link in the pinned comment, or you can text my number and text the word chalk or just leave it in the comments, totally up to you. But my camera did not record I ended up using the Happy Holidays and the little bow with the greenery. Um, I used the Happy Holidays above the door and I did an ombre effect with white and gold. And then obviously I transferred on the bow and the greenery. And then to embellish this, I wanted to put little pots at the bottom. So I just cut those out with some popsicle sticks. And I also cut two pieces to go at the top of our pot. To cover my pots, I used my gold chalk paste and I just kind of dabbed that on so that it kind of looked like a terracotta pot, if you will. And then I also took some picks from greenery. I cut off the thickest part of the little branch and then I glued those down. So I also used um, one of the picks with the white berries and then one of the pick with the red berries. And I just kind of glued them down how I wanted them. And then once I was satisfied with the way that it looked, then I went ahead and glued down my pots. Once I was done gluing down the pots, then I just took garland ties from Dollar Tree. I cut them down, basically gave them a haircut so they looked a little bit more higher end. And then I cut a small one for the door, glued that together, and then cut a larger one for above the door and glued that together as well. Now for the bigger one, I wanted this to look like a higher end wreath. So I just took some more of those picks from Dollar Tree, pulled off the branches and then glued that around the wreath. Next, I take this ribbon that I got from Walmart in the Christmas section. I do believe I picked this up this year because I have never seen this one before. So I just cut a piece and glue that to the top of the wreath. And then I cut another piece and made a simple bow with that same ribbon cut off the ends and then glued it to the top of the wreath. If you guys need to know how to make a simple bow, I can leave that in the cards in the right hand corner. And then for the bow on the door, I cut this ribbon down in half, created a simple little bow and glued that to the top of the wreath. Last but most certainly not least, I glued the wreath down to the top of the vent and that was it for this project, you guys. Look how absolutely stunning this turned out. If you guys recreate this, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see y'all's recreations. Let me know down in the comments which part of this project is your favorite. Will you guys be recreating this? I would love to know. Also, don't forget to share this out. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you a part of my crafty family. Also, if you guys want chalk info or ketone info on how I recently just lost 60 pounds in six months and I also maintain my weight during my pregnancy and I've dropped 45 pounds in seven weeks since having him. So super, super passionate about helping you all look and feel your best as well. So text my number, the word ketone or chalk, or just to say hi. I love chatting with y'all. And until next time, y'all know I love you. 
If nobody has told you today, you're absolutely stunning. You're worthy. You're absolutely gorgeous. And you can do anything you set your mind to. I love y'all so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Y'all don't forget about the giveaway that I have going on in my last video. I will leave that right here. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.